everything we've seen. I, it, for almost every team in this division, if you ask me that question, I'd be like, EG played pretty well at the PLQ, some of the better slaying teams. I maybe have lower expectations for what they'd be able to bring to the table, like Red Reserve, I would favor slightly over EG. Sure. But Midnight's undefeated. Like, I, I, I've i seen no reason for anything other than I expect Midnight to win this game. Fair Even enough. what they did to Optic yesterday. Granted, again, you have to reiterate, yes, they had a sub. That is not the real Optic that we're going to be seeing in the future, not the Optic we saw in Vegas. But they didn't just beat them. Like, they dominated them. Like, I... You know, you could say whatever you want, but it was still a very it was impressive a performance. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't close at all. Uh, I guess, obviously, we talked a little bit about teams that could potentially have trick strats. Revan, definitely uh, the type of coach that could try and develop something with his players. I, let me tell you, if you, if you do have something, you, you got to use it against I, them. I, on Arsenal, though, it's like it, more creativity you're always sure. going to see on offense, right? On defense, it's more reactionary because you have to do, you have to respond have to, to the other yeah, team, right? Yeah, yeah. The problem is, is on offense, well, both sides are pretty close to each other. You got Lavi that connects you from one to the other. You're there in three seconds. You're there in five seconds off spawn. So maybe he has something crazy. I, I would love to see it. I just can't imagine what it would really be. Five-man vent push. Well, see, that's that's where we get too far. If we had 12, <laughs> maybe, but we don't have that. So like, you just, that would be too absurd. <laughs> If you ever Imagine. see more than two <laughs> players on the same team invent at the same time, something's probably going wrong. Uh, that would two is fine. Two is fine. And so that's what you the line? Three is like, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Unless there's streaks. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. As it stands at midnight, 2-0 up in the series. Everything going according to plan for them. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be the chickens. The chickens. He's going to have all five players going to be putting <laughs> chickens all over uh, the map, like giving away positions to bait uh, players out of vents. That's the next level stress. That's, that's the genius. Use the chicken as bait. Wow. Whoa. Or just get fully streaked out and then just easily win the round. You know, that, that, that works as well. That helps. But I prefer our strat, the chicken strat. Yes. Well, that's how you get the streaks. Yeah. yeah. Chicken <laughs> you use the chickens to bait out and get the like it. I like where we're going with this. Uh, there, of course, a glance at EG. The communication seems uh, very intense. That's for sure. From Facento, trying to lead. I'm just gonna roll back to this because I think it's hilarious. Uh, there was discussion on Twitter uh, about yeah. whether or not we could ever pull comms from like when the coaches are talking in between just to get a little bit of that extra depth. We hear we cut into Revan chickens, guys. Chickens. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Stop. <laughs> well, game three I'm about to get underway. Arsenal control, and uh, again the storyline coming into game three. Midnight, they've not lost a control. They're seven and zero. Man with this game mode, and boy oh boy, do they make it look easy, that's for sure. Evil Genius is gonna have their work cut out, and honestly, if they do win this, and they're gonna know that they're unbeaten as well, could give them some confidence to try and pull themselves back into this series. Because if you think about the game one, EG controlled it for 95%. 95% of that game, EG was in the lead. Did you ever think they'd close it out? Maybe not, but still, they had that control. They had moments where they could have stumped out with that. I mean, I think it was literally Midnight scored like the first two points and then they got outscored like 70 to two and they didn't have the lead until the yeah, end, like the final 30 point. Like, it was absurd. Completely absurd off the rip though. Unfortunately, a team kill comes in, but EG still get that man count advantage, which all of a sudden just goes away because the team kill. So yeah, Midnight, uh, slightly decent opening break. Yep. It's now A already with a tick into it. Those who challenge comes through, Llama. Looking to try and trade out Jet Li still inside the zone. So one and a half ticks, 25-25, and Sento. Oh, baby. That's going to be a rough one. We'll try and delete that from the bot so your teammates don't have to see it. Four players go down. B, already pressure. And, and this is what makes Midnight just so good. Already there. Take on A is coming through. I think EG is probably just going to chalk it up, but I, I don't even know if that's necessarily a good decision because it's only one player over there. Now you're dealing with the whole team. In oh, that was so they smart. Do something. Finally, EG does break through, though. That was so smart. Lomergod, who was the player solo capping, pushed through the hill to watch the lobby cut, found a freebie, a complete free kill, and I'm pretty sure that actually assisted Jet Lee in getting his streak. So uh, heads up stuff coming out for Midnight. Many times that you see a player just say, nah, I'm just going to cap it. I'm, I'm just going to secure this round. Not only that, now you got the lightning strike to work with. You get everybody set up. Envoy waiting in lobby. One player waiting on the other side of the map. His teammates get near him. Probably calling the lightning strike or just catch a player off guard if you need to. Clear them all out. He hits the call. And his teammates have still not moved. His entire team doing the right thing. That's as good as it gets for communication. That is well coordinated. You find one. A team kill comes in a little bit, but that's the break. They're on through. They're in the hill. They're racking it up. And Envoy did not die mid map. Now you got to deal with him, but you got to get in the hill. You got to deal with ICRs. Power positions galore. Midnight with the perfect setup, the perfect streak, the perfect communication. 
And that kill feed, nothing but that nice white. You, you forgot the, the last thing. Killing perfect, everybody? Perfect gameplay. Perfect gameplay. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Everything they wanted to, to achieve in that first round, successful. And the best part about that was, is you can go over time and time again exactly how you want to use streaks, but to have the communication of, oh, royalties pushed up on this, like, P1, whatever you want to call that first bush, kill him first, because he can be a problem. Sure. They knew he was there, they knew he was by himself. So they hunted that player out specifically while setting up that play. So it's not just that the play is incredible to watch, it's that they even go that extra little step to make sure that they get exactly what they want. Yep, they get the setup and then they execute it flawlessly. And then we'll take a pretty convincing round number one. Now, I guess the question that we're all wondering, will we see the, the, the five-man vent chicken push from EG? I hope not. I really <laughs> don't see it. I, I, I would just cry laughing. Cry. It's not going to happen, sadly. Sadly, but we can dream. At streaks, though. Brack, 250 away, defending B. EG want to push it straight off the rip, and Brack finds one. Brack almost went for the, the instant challenge. And Parzilian, he's got some tricks of his own as he just pulls out the Mozu and evaporates Exalted. Oh. oh that's new. <laughs> you don't say. It's, it's like reminiscent of, uh, oh, God. Uh, there was like a spot on London Docks where there's like a random wall that you could shoot through. That was very similar. I will say the opening break EG had was actually pretty smart. They basically got free A control. They, they sent two lives away to make sure they got it and then none of it matters because Midnight just storms back through. That's ridiculous. Parzelian finds himself 125 away from streaks, as was Envoy. Envoy falls. Llama got playing sneaky inside vent, and that's why it can be so sneaky. Now draws attention across to him and allows his teammates to try and find a bit of crossfire. 125 again away from streaks is Parzelian. Keep that in the back of your minds. A challenge comes through. Teammate cleans him up. PKAs will do here. Goon is left. Last man alive. He falls now. Parzelian rotates over towards middle. They have every part of the map covered. Yeah, honestly, at this point, this makes me really annoyed that Afi couldn't play with Dashi because I, I really want to know. I, like, Midnight, me, I just want to see him play everybody. Yep. Because, like, I, obviously, they're a legit, like, an insanely good team. I, I want to know where it stops. I want to know what their wall is. Is there a wall? There's a green. Uh, it's a green wall. Yeah. Right. Or, yeah, like, against United, it. LG. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know when these guys play LG, if it's this week or not. But, and I, again, it's just everything's good right now. I want right. to see how far it goes. You have to ride that wave as far as you can, that's for sure. As Llama is, or sorry, has secured a lightning strike. Pings it, calls it in. That's going to secure B, but there's no one over at B anyway, so drops in mid-map. Fellow falls, 0.1 second. Uh, and uh, Chance, this is a bloodbath. Hey, they're getting throttled. Like, uh, teams need to be taking notes, like, honestly. Not even close. And EG... I mean, what, what do you do? What do you do heading into round three? Say it. <laughs> Chicken! No, uh, nothing. I, I just, I mean, regain. Like, they're, they're not out of this yet. Uh, again, they're very good players on EG. They had, you know, top eight at Vegas, much higher than the guys on Midnight Place. I think three of them were top 24. The other two were, like, top 40. So, I mean, if you look at that, you got to imagine you have some sort of advantage there. You have an advantage in experience, certainly. So, well, you want down two rounds. Advantages, though? Streaks, health. <laughs> look, I'm not saying it's a good spot at all. I'm just saying, like, we've seen oh. crazier things, well, maybe? You're going to see more streaks. Yep. 50 points. Two team kills. Well, that's fine. Just letting them know he has it. He's a nice guy, Zamboy. As he tries to back away, 50 points. It's just trapped between a rock and a He's still a lot. If he gets streaks after all of this, it'll be a miracle. Drone squad is just following him around. They knew there was a player right there. He's still alive. A player flanks. He turns around and, well, there's another streak for you. If, if Midnight didn't have enough utility on the map, well, they do now. Streaks galore. Streaks galore. Everyone from EG is inside, though. They got the man advantage. Midnight is pushed completely back in their base. One player might sneak through, but he's going to get hunted down. Fellow finds him, so it doesn't matter if it's streaks. Uh -oh. If everyone's inside, you're stuck in your base. This is an incredibly good round for EG. And now you got to imagine, 26 seconds on the clock, you got to build some streaks of your own. Get towards the specialists, like, keep him trapped, but it looks like Midnight eventually able to break through. And honestly, even though EG had a great start, this round's not over for the flip side because now the streaks actually do come into play. Yep, there's one. And boy, looks up towards the lobby. He needs to be careful of Vent. Trades through. Grab slam available. Jet Lee somehow stays alive.
Meanwhile, a flight comes through. Pazilian reach out. He still has a Hellstorm missile. B is now being capped. 12.4 seconds on the clock. Is Jet Li going to go for the grab slam inside lobby? If he hears the door open, he may well just go for it. Don't want to get baited by it, though. He sees the players. He's got the information. You oh, don't want to burn it. You get secure. But now he's Genius. got players inside. He's looking for the first. Might just grab slam a second. Tries to do it with the gun. Facento takes him down. And over oh. at B, that final tick has not come in. Raxane Live has players in front of him because Barzillian was there for the trade. So eventually. They oh, not no! secure. Bracket's taken down. 10 seconds left. The stun comes out. You have to at least contest. There's the contest. There's the grab slam. Is that now going to be the final nail in the B zone? Envoy has to be careful. One more challenge comes through. He does secure it. Facento a little out of position now for a rotation to come through. That's going to be traded out. More streaks. That's going to be used to spawn kill if nothing else. An 8-6 to six life advantage for Midnight as they try and close this out. 3-0. Oh. Three players oh. full. Royalty has a grab slam. He needs to invest. He's not even going to be able to do so. Now Parzelian able to push through with the Annihilator. EG, we'll see you later. I mean... That was, like, the streaks definitely helped, but EG, they as good of a break as you could possibly have. Didn't matter a single bit. Midnight running them over. 3-0 in the control. 3-0 in the series. Undefeated on land. Undefeated. Undefeated in control. Undefeated in series as well. This Midnight squad, to chance this point, just how high is their ceiling? When you see them play uh, against, you know, to your call, uh, the likes of LG, I guess we'll, we'll get an answer to that. But so far, so good. Unbeaten here in the Pro League, unbeaten on LAN, unbeaten in control. And that's exactly why the way they play that game mode is just so nice to watch. And it's good. And so, like, teams that we're really excited to watch, like, obviously the top teams in the game, you always want to watch the top four. We haven't seen, you know, United, LG, sure, Splice. Sure, sure. You always want to watch those guys. Of course. Huge, like, Heretics. Hey, great. Spanish team in the scene. Midnight, dude. They... I, they're, they're like my new favorite team to watch, I think. Like, they're, they're in they're that conversation because they're just unreal. Everything is going well. Decisions are great. The play calls are great. The adjustments are amazing. Like, everything's going well. They're a fun team to watch, and I'm very happy they're in the Pro League. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, so far, so good for them. Of course, for EG, not the perfect start that they would want. Of course, they now find themselves 0-1, but still a lot of Call of Duty to, to be played for them. Uh, and for the rest of the day, still two more games to, to come up. But before that, I'm going to send it down for our PlayStation Instant Reaction. Jess is with Jet Li. Thanks, Ben. Well, you guys have come in and taken three O's for your first two matches here in the Pro League. How does that feel? Uh, it feels, it just feels so real. The fact that we're this good, and it just makes me, it's it just surprising. It's, it's surprising because we're just all, just all have been in, like under, underrated since our like, since the past two years. And it's really humbling to see us come this far and progress that, that, that fast. And you said something to me yesterday, the same thing. You said you felt that you guys were being underestimated as a team. What effect does people underestimating you have on, on you guys as far as the way you play? Um, just experience. Experience and teams don't expect us to have that much of slaying power. So when pros come into the match, you know, a bunch of ams, you know, and just like, you know, like they don't expect us to like really get all the kills and just slay the whole map. Like no teams expect that from us. So you also, I'm sorry, not you, um, Parzelian had mentioned that Ricky is helping you guys out. Can you talk a little bit more about how how it is to have such a strong coach on your team? Yeah, Ricky is an amazing guy. He's the player that, the coach that, um, he just brings good vibes, good energy. He does his homework that as needed. He makes sure our vetoes are on point. You know, he's just a really good coach all around and, and, and a good person. That's awesome. Thank you so much. This has been your PlayStation Instant Reaction. We'll be right back after this quick break.